Hamilton took its final bow in Rochester last night after a three-week run. But look around, look around, <laughs> and you'll see it left its mark on some local businesses. Kayla Green tells us why those businesses are still singing its praises. The room where it happened is now empty. It was just a very fast three weeks, but just a, a fantastic three weeks um, for everybody. John Parkhurst of the Rochester Broadway Theater League says it exceeded expectations. Every night, near capacity crowds and people coming back two, three times to see the show, just loving it. But the theater wasn't the only place where business was booming. Restaurants in the Village Gate, like the Gatehouse, say they saw nearly full crowds almost every night Hamilton was in town. Even with all the shows that have come to Rochester, they say they've never seen anything like this before. Normally, a couple days before we might book up, but Hamilton was, you know, a couple weeks before. People were calling as soon as tickets went on sale. That was Aaron Reisig, manager of the Gatehouse. Art Rogers owns Lento Restaurant, also in Village Gate, and says he experienced similar demand. I, yeah, I think I underestimated it. Um, it just ended yesterday. I'm coming off four 18-hour days in a row. Reisig says the Hamilton hype drew people from far and wide. It brings people down here so they can kind of check out what the neighborhood of the arts is, what we are. And we certainly did not throw away our shot here in Rochester. Oh, I wish Hamilton was here every night. Um, it would be it would be great. In Rochester, Kayla Green, News 8. Thank you, Kayla. And Parker says the number of season subscribers for RBTL this season was 15,000, and he is still waiting on the final attendance numbers for Hamilton.